China produces over 60% of the world's aluminum, refines over half of the world's copper, 90% of rare earth, 60% of refined lithium, 80% of lithium battery graphite, and 50 to 90% of the chemicals and polymer parts used in lithium batteries. That dominance will not be easily or quickly altered. And because energy minerals are incredibly energy intensive, China has a profound advantage with its low cost electric grid that uses coal for two thirds of power production. And China is building more coal plants at the rate of roughly one a week and will do so for close to a decade. Those additional coal plants will lead to an additional two gigatons of CO2 emitted per year from China. Meanwhile, energy transitionists estimate that the US CO2 emissions will decrease at most by only one gigaton after the US Inflation Reduction Act deploys over $1 trillion on alternative energy that will require directly or indirectly purchasing energy minerals from China. Seems like a bad trade. The US already saw a one gigaton per year reduction in CO2 emissions over the past decade without massive subsidies or increased imports due to the well-known shale revolution that collapsed the cost of natural gas, making it cheaper than coal. The key effect of that brought huge economic and geopolitical benefits for the United States. All these realities point to some more sensible options when it comes to a goal to reduce global carbon dioxide emissions. Rather than subsidize U.S. assembly of batteries using imported materials, instead encourage, even subsidize if we have to, domestic production of pipelines and ports to export more liquefied natural gas. That would yield greater emissions reductions per dollar by encouraging other nations that are now planning to burn more coal and to instead import U.S. LNG. A start would be to change the mission of the DOE office that regulates permissions to export LNG and instead repurpose it as an office of export assistance. Other options would be more cost effective, could include a more sensible and expansive posture towards nuclear energy, pursuing improved combustion efficiency and engaging serious efforts to resolve the barriers to reshoring far more U.S. mining and refining.